Hi, I'm Ty. Thanks for being with us today. Now feel free to pause the video at any time and follow along with your own aircraft. Today, we'll be going over the pre-flight checklist for the Phantom 3 Advanced or the Phantom 3 Professional before your first flight. As we explained in the unboxing video, the only difference between the Advanced version and the Professional version is the camera. So for this tutorial, we'll be using the Phantom 3 Professional. Now we highly recommend that you go through a checklist like this for any aircraft. Safety is an essential part of flying, and let's all do our part to keep us in the air. First, let's check the aircraft for any physical damage from a previous flight or damage during transportation. Now once you've done that, let's check the items necessary for a day of flying. You should have your aircraft, four propellers, two with black indicators and two with silver indicators, the remote controller, an intelligent flight battery, a micro SD card if you plan on taking photos and videos, a lanyard if you prefer to hang your remote from your neck, and a mobile device. You have all these items? Great. Let's continue. Now, let's do a battery check to make sure everything is charged. Let's check our intelligent flight battery by pressing the power button once. Now, let's press the power button on the remote controller to check those battery levels. Now check your mobile device and make sure you have enough battery for a full day of flying. If you're using your device for cellular usage, we recommend a backup battery to recharge your device in case you're traveling to a remote location. And make sure to download the DJI Pilot app from either the App Store or Google Play well in advance where Wi-Fi is available. And check to make sure it launches on your device. Now before we do our electronics test, let's get the aircraft physically ready to fly. Let's now remove the warning labels from the motors. These are here for your protection and you won't be needing them after you read the disclaimer. You can also now remove the gimbal clamp. 